Hello, money amateurs, and welcome back to our channel, Amateur Money, where we turn the complicated world of finance into something you can master. But before we dive into today's topic, which is all about refinancing your mortgage, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Not only does it help us out, but it also ensures you won't miss any of our future videos. Now, let's talk about a topic that could potentially save you thousands of dollars. When and how to refinance your mortgage. What is REFINANCING? First, let's delve into the basics. What exactly does refinancing your mortgage mean? At its core, refinancing involves replacing your existing mortgage with a new loan. This new loan, structured by different terms, pays off your old mortgage. Essentially, you are taking out a new loan to pay off the original one. But why would anyone want to do this? The reasons can be varied, but the goal is usually to create a more favorable situation for the homeowner. Perhaps the initial interest rates were high, and now lower rates are available. Or maybe your financial situation has changed, and you need to adjust the terms of your loan to match your current capacity. Now, the concept of refinancing can be a little intimidating. After all, you've already gone through the mortgage process once, so why go through it all over again? But here's the thing, if done correctly, refinancing can be a powerful tool in your financial toolbox. It has the potential to lower your interest rates, reduce your monthly payments, or even shorten the length of your loan. All of these changes could lead to significant savings over the life of your mortgage. When to refinance? It's moving on to the big question. When is the right time to consider refinancing your mortgage? The truth is, the right time can vary depending on individual circumstances. However, there are several scenarios where refinancing might be a wise financial move. Firstly, consider the interest rates in the market. If they have dropped significantly since you took out your original mortgage, refinancing could save you a considerable amount of money over the life of your loan. Imagine this. You took out a mortgage when the interest rates were at 6%. Now, rates have dropped to 4%. Over a 30-year term, that 2% difference can add up to tens of thousands of dollars in savings. Secondly, your personal financial situation plays a crucial role. If your credit score has improved significantly since you took out your mortgage, you may qualify for better loan terms and a lower interest rate. This can result from paying off debt, timely bill payments, or an increase in your income. Thirdly, the type of mortgage you have can influence your decision to refinance. If you started with an adjustable rate mortgage, or ARM, which has a variable interest rate, and now you're seeking the stability of a fixed rate mortgage, refinancing could be your answer. Lastly, your long-term financial goals matter. If you're looking to pay off your home faster and you're prepared to handle higher monthly payments, you can refinance to shorten your loan term. This could mean switching from a 30-year loan to a 15-year loan. While your monthly payments might increase, you'll be mortgage-free faster and pay less in interest over the life of the loan. How to Refinance Now that we've covered the what and when, let's get into the how of refinancing your mortgage. It's important to remember that this isn't an overnight process. It requires preparation and careful consideration, but with the right approach, it can be a smooth journey. Let's walk through the general steps. First and foremost, determine your goal for refinancing. Do you want to lower your monthly payments, shorten your loan term, or switch from an adjustable rate mortgage to a fixed rate mortgage? Clearly defining your goal will guide your decisions throughout the process. Secondly, check your credit score. A higher credit score generally means better loan terms and lower interest rates. You can get your credit report for free once a year from each of the three major credit bureaus. Thirdly, do your homework and research lenders. Different lenders offer different interest rates and terms, so it pays to shop around. Consider credit unions, banks, and online lenders, and don't forget to read reviews and check their reputation. The fourth step is getting your home appraised. Your lender will arrange this. An appraisal determines the current market value of your home, which will affect how much you can borrow. Next, it's time to apply for the new mortgage. This involves providing your lender with information about your income, assets, debts, and credit history. Be prepared for paperwork. Once you've applied, you'll receive a loan estimate from each potential lender. This document breaks down the terms of the loan, including the interest rate, monthly payments, and total closing costs. 
Review it carefully to ensure it aligns with your financial goals. After you've reviewed your options, it's time to choose your lender and lock in your rate. This means you're committing to the loan with that lender. Finally, you'll close on your new mortgage. You'll sign a lot of documents, pay your closing costs and possibly the new escrow funds, and then, congratulations, you've refinanced your mortgage. Warnings. While we've discussed the potential benefits of refinancing, it's equally important to understand that refinancing isn't the best move for everyone. There are certain factors and costs that need to be considered before making this decision. One of the major considerations is the cost. Refinancing is not free. There are closing costs involved, which can typically range from 2% to 5% of the loan amount. These costs include loan origination fees, appraisal fees, and other charges. If the costs of refinancing outweigh the benefits, it might not be a wise financial move. Secondly, consider your future plans. If you're planning on moving in the near future, refinancing might not make sense. The reason is simple. The costs of refinancing could outweigh the benefits if you're not going to be in your home long enough to reach what is called the break-even point. This is the point at which your savings from the new loan surpass the cost of refinancing. Lastly, personal factors also play a significant role. If you're nearing retirement and your income is set to decrease, or if you're planning a major life change like starting a family or changing careers, these factors could impact your ability to make the new mortgage payments. Given all these considerations, it's wise to consult with a financial advisor if you're unsure. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific financial situation and goals. Remember, refinancing is a major financial decision and it's crucial to make a well-informed choice. So, that's it, folks. A basic rundown of refinancing your mortgage. Remember, every situation is unique, so do your research and consider your options carefully. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Amateur Money. Until next time, keep making smart financial decisions.